uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be telling you that uh, how to install uh, go script PDF compression library so go scripts is a very popular PDF library which is provided by Adobe and uh, it is available on 64 bit 34 bit operating systems so I will be using specifically Windows operating system Windows 10 and Windows 11 so if you are running Windows 10 and Windows 11 this tutorial is for you I can tell you this library is also available for Linux systems also which if you are using Linux you can also install this library so it's a cross-platform library so in the next tutorials I will tell you the usage of this library how to compress the large size PDF documents so this is part of a playlist tutorial so this is the very first tutorial in which I will be telling you that uh, how to install the go script library in Windows command line so first of all you just need to go to Google and here you just need to type here go script download so if you just type here you will be redirected to this website which is telling you this is the official website of GOS, go script tool simply go to downloads and here you will see this is your listing here so depending upon which operating system you run I am running the Windows 64 bit operating system so I will select this version so you don't need to select commercial license simply select this license here simply click it and then it will install this you will see that for I think it is 52 megabytes file is there so depending upon that it will uh, download this so now this is the exe file so you just need to follow the next instructions to install this so many people have faced uh, difficulty installing this software so I decided to make a video on this so just open this exe file right here and you just need to grant the permission simply click, click on yes so click on yes and now this is simple set of files simply click on next 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 and now here simply read all the terms and conditions simply click I agree and then you just need to if you want to change the destination folder but default one I think it is quite good so it will take around 84 megabyte space so it's not a very large size software so it is present will be program files so simply click install and now it will install this software inside your machine so it will hardly take uh, 5 to 10 seconds and it will install it now you can see that it is installed it simply click on finish and now your software is successfully installed and now comes the hard part installing this software so for now installing it on the command line guys so that you can access this software on the command line as you can see this is a command line software so basically if you just see here the command will not work so now to access this software it is very easy simply you need to open the destination where it is installed simply move on to the C directory and go to the pro program files and go to this GS folder this one so here inside this directory bin folder this is the actual library which is residing here this is a go script you can see that so now we just need to edit the environment variables in order to install this software globally inside our uh, operating system so environment variables is very simple you can right click this PC go to the properties section so basically this is running I am running the Windows 11 operating system so I have upgraded to the latest Windows Windows version so if you are there on the Windows 10 the operation will be pretty simple you just need to go to this PC again go to properties the GUI, the GUI is just changed here the rest of the process remains the same and here you just need to go to your uh, you can also search it simply search uh, environment variable simply this is a very easy option so it will auto suggest you this is added the system environment variables so simply select this this window will open here this window you will see that and now you just need to click on environment variables so now you simply need to click environment variables and simply you need to select the user variables 
or you can also edit the system variables but I will be editing the user variables simply select path and simply click on edit and now you just need to add two environment variables here so the first variable will be the actual library where the library is residing so it is residing in the bin folder simply open this bin folder and copy the address simply control C copy open once again here this window simply click on new and paste this address that simply paste it that's it and now the second environment variable is for the actual library which are residing in the lib folder you will see that guys lib folder simply open this again repeat the same process copy this and once again click on new simply paste it that's it so these are the two environment variables guys we you need to add simply now click on ok again click on ok and click on OK. That's it. Now you have successfully installed GoScript library inside your Windows 10 or 11 system. So this is all that it, it is needed to install GoScript guys. So in the next tutorials in this playlist series I will be telling you that how to use this library on the command line to compress the large PDF documents such as 100 megabytes file to 2 megabytes file. So keep watching this playlist in the next tutorial I will be showing that process. In the meantime guys please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.